standing on the ramparts of Lindisfarne Castle, looking out towards Bambra. There's more to Lindisfarne Holy Island than the early Christian history. It's also, of course, a site of immense romance. Um, and we're about to look around Lindisfarne Castle, which was bought by Edward Hudson, the proprietor of Country Life, right at the beginning of the 20th century and renovated by Edward Hutchins to make a very romantic and uh, evocative gothic fantasy of a holiday home. Just look up and take in a bit of the exterior and let's knock on the door and see what's inside. Hi. We're here uh, as guests of the National Trust, and Daniel Wilson is very kindly going to show us around. Sure. Hi, Daniel. Thanks very much. No problem. Goodness. This is a very unusual room. Yep, this is the, uh, the biggest room in the castle, uh, known as the, the ship room, hence uh, aptly named with the, the ship hanging up in the middle of the ceiling. And we hold uh, weddings uh, in here also. And we've got all the, uh, the old Dutch Flemish furniture that uh, Edwin Lutyens uh, brought in when he converted the castle. Um, it's a big, big fireplace, as there is in, in every room. Um, we've got the converted Royal Yacht uh, tobacco jars uh, converted into um, lamps now. We have the, uh, the envious task of cleaning all the brass and uh, every um, bit of uh, furniture and uh, item in the room during the winter season. Fantastic. Let's head upstairs and have a look at the long gallery. So was this originally part of the house? Uh, this was uh, open space um, in the time of uh, when it was a fort, uh, around about 1572, so all this was exposed. Um, Edwin Lutyens, when he converted uh, the castle, in, it into a castle, uh, stroke holiday home, added three uh, other rooms, uh, and this roof, um, converting it into the long gallery. He added all this uh, flooring as well, which is the... Uh, herringbone flooring, which we're trying to uh, preserve as well. It's uh, uh, quite brittle, um, so we've got one of the mats um, photographed um, and designed to protect the flooring. Um, and then just at the far end of the, uh, the gallery there, we've got part of what was would have been more the original fort. Uh, we've got a contrast in the brand new beams just at the top here and the uh, very old beams going into the, the lower doorways just at the, uh, the far end there. So it must have required a lot of uh, ingenuity from Lutchens to create what feels like a very old space out of yep. something that yeah, yeah, wasn't there really before. Yeah. Brilliant. Can we see in one of the bedrooms? Yeah, sure. Fabulous. Does anyone ever sleep in here now? Unfortunately, not not in this actual room, uh, just in the uh, the staff bedroom, which my property manager uh, has during her stays here. It's all very much on a sort of family scale, isn't it? This house, although it's so dramatic outside. It is, yeah. It's um, like I said, it's a it's castle stroke holiday home. Not many people know uh, what it's like until they actually come in here. Uh, it's very intimate. There's fireplaces in every bedroom, so they were always quite warm. Yeah, it's a brilliant uh, Edwardian combination of romance and comfort. Let's go back out onto the ramparts.
Mm, please mind your head, it says. Good advice. Right, just bending down here. Oh, and back out into the bracing sea air. So there's Bamborough Castle. Following the coast round, Cheviots lurking in the mist there. Let's just walk over and look back towards the Priory ruins and the village. Thanks very much, Daniel.